Steve, thanks for joining us. Um, very passionate presentation there. You obviously believe and are convinced that climate change is happening. Yeah, I think from a local government perspective, um, and as I tried to demonstrate uh, six years ago, all local authorities signed up the climate change declaration, which was um, you know, giving information to, to government, basically how we're doing over, over the piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has happened like, every single year and every single time on a voluntary basis, all local authorities have actually produced these reports. And they've shown some very significant Im improvements. And I think I gave one example of my own local authority where uh, uh, from 2007 to 2013, there's a 21% reduction in emissions. So you know, those, those sort of results encourage people to try and, to try and do better. Although I think we recognise that uh, probably the, the easy ones have been done <laughs> first, but we, uh, the challenge is there for us to try and improve uh, further in that. And now we're looking at you know, other things like, I spoke about you know, electric cars, spoke about the street lighting, which is a big project which all local authorities in Scotland are doing, where they're replacing street lights, about 45% of them are going to be changed, which will not only save a lot of money, but also reduce carbon emissions. So these are, these are uh, you know, significant projects which will, will make a difference. 32 local authorities signed up. That is a magnificent achievement in itself, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I think, well, I think, it, I think it, it demonstrated how committed local authorities are, are to, to the project or, or to, to seeing carbon emissions reduced. Because mm. I think people recognise that uh, you know, we have to do something about it. And uh, leadership, I think that's one of the points we try to make, is that leadership is so important in this. And local authorities are there to show leadership in their communities. And I think they, they've done that. And, and they continue to do that. How important is it then that all sectors play their part to get to the end result, to get to where they need to be? I think that's absolutely vital. And it's interesting that the government have actually now made it mandatory to do this reporting. And it was quite interesting. We, were, we didn't particularly agree with the government because we felt that voluntary reporting had been successful for us. But I think um, the mandatory reporting will mean that other public bodies will now have to report. Uh, but it's also interesting to note that the Scottish government are basically Drawing, using the, 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 the mechanism or the, the draft report that we had mm -hmm. and they're using that as their template for taking it forward. So it'll actually make very little difference to local authorities but it will mean that other public bodies will be, uh, have, to, have to sort of uh, to do this as well in the future and I think that is a good thing. The targets are very, very ambitious as we get towards uh, the date. What, what do you think needs to be done to actually get there? Do you think it can, we can get there? I think they're very challenging. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I wouldn't be able to predict whether we'll get there or not because I think they are absolutely very, they are very challenging. And I think it was interesting to note that the, uh, there was a question to the to the minister from Ireland why they they weren't actually setting targets. So I thought maybe, maybe that's maybe the clever way <laughs> of doing it. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't set targets. So, uh, but I think people would just have to come. You know, we, the people have to continue to come up with innovative ideas. That, that, that will make a difference. So you know, there the will be things happen in the future that will improve things, but I, I don't think I will predict that they, that they will meet those very ambitious targets. Finally then, how important is it to attend events like this to, to get to the people who it matters, to, to get to other local authorities that are maybe not doing what you guys are doing, to spread the word, to get glean knowledge and to pass on knowledge? Yeah, I think these, these events are good at you know, bringing so many different people together, from not just from the public sector, from, from the private sector as well. Mm. And, the, uh, and the session that we've just had, it was quite interesting to hear the, the minister, for instance, from Ireland speaking about uh, collaboration and partnership, and that at a very high level between countries, not just between you know, uh, uh, councils or whatever, you know, where, where, where we're working at a sort of much lower level. So I think people can learn good practice, they can hear what other folk are doing. Uh, and I think people normally go away from events like this in a, in a positive frame of mind, and I think as I think as the chairman said today, we're we're not actually talking about problems today. We're actually talking about solutions, mm -hmm. and that's really positive. Fantastic.